a piece of cake. This is his pre-release blood sample. We're gonna store part of it in a minus 80 freezer for future studies, and then the rest of it's gonna go out to the lab to assess his organ function and his blood cell count. It's gonna be a nightmare. most difficult of all the turtles to get blood from. Chip that's very similar to what we would put in our dogs or cats to track them in the event that they got lost. And this helps us to track the turtles as they come back to their nesting beaches. There'll be people on the beaches with scanners and they can look this number up in a database and tell where the turtle has been treated and tagged. This is going to make him get very angry. So I'm going to take this flipper and if you can just kind of block his head. Okay, that one went well. Okay, let him calm down. I'm just gonna scan him and make sure that chip uh, is I'm still under the skin. And it is, so that's what they'll see if they see him on a nesting beach and run a scanner over him. Scrub and disinfectant 
disinfect the area before we take biopsies and apply the next set of tags. So these are metal flipper tags that are issued by National Marine Fisheries and each turtle will get two tags, each with a unique number applied to both of their rear flippers. So in the event that a fisherman catches one in one of his nets or somebody sees them on a nesting beach, there's an external identifier. And these numbers are registered with the Archie Carr Turtle Center in, at the University of Florida. So he's going to get MS2131 on the left rear. be stored for genetic sampling. It's just a small piece of skin in between the digits on the trailing edge of one of the rear flippers. Thank you. 